Hi, I'm Glennie D. Welcome to our Five for Design Week 7. Thanks for joining in. This week we're adding design detail to our cubes. I hope you've been practicing at home. We're missing Miss B. All this week she's riding on a mountain bike adventure. How cool is that? Anyway, good luck Miss B. We'll see you soon. This week you'll notice I'm using a new app called Paper. Let's jump in and have a look at this week's activities starting from Monday till Thursday. And you'll have noticed on Friday we'll be drawing or designing your own Minecraft pet. How cool. But before we do that, we're going to need a little bit more practice. So let's turn the page and open up Monday's activities. Let's begin with the die. We're going to show you how to add ellipses onto the face of a cube. An ellipse, remember, is when we look at a circle at an angle and it looks like that. Now in our drawings, sometimes we need to tip them over. Let me show you what I mean. If I'm taking uh, your drawing, imagine drawing a line from this corner to this corner. And on that guideline, I'm going to draw my ellipse. Notice the way an ellipse has a long measurement there. And that's what lines up with your guideline. Excellent. So let's try to draw one in a different position. Even though I might want to draw one here or here, they're still leaning over at that same angle. Yeah, pretty easy. Okay, let's see how we go on one of these sides. If I draw a line, a guideline from my bird's foot, all the way up to this corner, that's my guideline that shows me what angle to tip over the ellipse. And no matter where I draw the ellipse, anywhere on that face, they're all tipped over the same amount. Even if I wanted to draw a really big one, same angle. If I want to draw in this face, then I'm going to start from the bird's foot and imagine a center line out there. And that shows me what angle I need to tip over the ellipse. Same if I draw it anywhere else on the face. Now that you understand this rule of how to draw ellipses onto the face, let's see how you go drawing all of the dots onto your die. Have a fabulous time and that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone and welcome to day two of week seven. Last lesson we drew circles on a die and today we're drawing circles onto a construction block. First, let's learn the names of the parts of a construction block. Firstly, on top, an ellipse here can become a cylinder and it's called a stud because it clicks together onto the next one. Uh, when we have some edges all converging, it's called a vertex. This area here, this flat area, is called a face. And where two faces meet, that's where we get an edge. Here's another edge down the bottom. How many edges are there on this face, do you think? If you said four, you're right. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Yesterday we learned that if I start from the bird's foot and draw a line from corner to corner, that's the angle on which I draw the ellipse. And the same thing goes on all faces out this side. And the same thing goes on top. Let's draw this construction block together. Start with the bird's foot. Extend. Next step is to change that into a book shape, like that. And finally, let's do the crisscross at the back. Now, this ellipse will be, remember, kind of roughly in between there. And on top, draw another ellipse and then connect them. So that is our cylinder on top. Great. And for this side, or this face, remember we're going to have to imagine a line going across there. 
and that helps us draw the ellipse. And that one's going to be a hole. Same on this side. Do you remember how we drew it in? Imagine a center line going across here, and then that helps you draw in the ellipse. Let's see how that looks using the Splat 3D drawing tool. Notice how the ellipses are set at the correct angle for drawing in isometric. Pretty cool. All right, good luck with that, guys, and I will see you next lesson. Bye for now. Hi, Glenny D. Thanks so much for joining in today. Week seven, lesson three. We're going to have some fun drawing some cubes and stacking cubes. We'll be stacking cubes one behind the other in this direction. Some people may even get up to stacking them downwards. Let's quickly review what we did last lesson. You'll see that we learnt how to draw ellipses onto the faces. If you didn't get time to attempt this drawing, that's okay because you're going to get another shot at it in today's lesson. Let's open up today's lesson and get started. Let's begin by drawing a cube. There's my bird's foot. Let's take it up to a book. Now, something a little different today. Notice we don't have that point to aim for. It's no aiming mark. So what we're going to have to do is begin here and bring a line. Make it a light line and longer than you need it. Next, we'll begin on this side and we'll go in our direction and where they cross over, that tells me where the cube finishes. Next thing we need to do is to stack another cube behind. Now notice I've already started these lines for you. That makes it easy and I've already given you an aiming mark. So let's go one, two, three, and from this point here, we're going to go upwards. Up, up, up. And where do you think I'll go next? You're right, we're going to head in this direction. Let's draw in all of the holes in the faces. I'm imagining a little light center line. And now, along that line, I can draw in my ellipses. Can you see something special about this hole? The cube's upside down, which means we're going to draw in some guidelines going criss cross. Now that I've drawn that lightly, I'm going to outline the shape. These are funny shaped holes that are in the block. I'm coloring the front cube green and the back one orange. To make the holes look 3D, you're going to want to press a little harder to get it a darker shade inside the holes. Thanks for your work today. I can't wait to see your drawings. Thanks so much. See you next lesson. Hi, we've made it to day four of week seven. I'm so proud of everyone's effort. We're learning lots together. Let's have a look at today's sheet. We're working on drawing a Rubik's cube to practice our parallel lines. Let's quickly look at last lesson. We learned to stack cubes one behind the other, and some people had a go at stacking up and down. All right, back to today's lesson. Let's draw this cube. And all the way to the back. Great. Now I have given you guys some aiming marks for those that are using the sheets. So let's go ahead and use those. So we'll go one line, two, and you've got some aiming marks over here. We're aiming for here. Cool. Now if you've covered up your aiming marks with a really dark line, that's no problem. All we're really doing is dividing this line into three even parts divide this line into three, into thirds, and then head upwards towards these lines. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Great. And lastly, have a look at this line or this edge. And we're going to divide it into three. Then we're going to head across, but we're not going flat. We are going to use the isometric angles. So that means from this point, I'm going all the way out to there. And from here, give yourself an aiming mark if you're not sure, and draw out to there. And there's my completed Rubik's Cube. Now, if you've drawn it really lightly, then you can actually use a ruler to clean up your line. Here's the Rubik's Cube, all colored, and this is the extension activity. Have a go at drawing a Lego brick. This one has eight studs. Enjoy today's activity, and I will see you tomorrow for the Fun Friday activities. Bye for now. Hi, it's Friday Fun Challenge Day. Let's review what we've learnt this week. Circles, when viewed on an angle, become cylinders. And now we know how to connect cylinders to squares, we can draw pretty much anything that you want to go ahead and design. For instance, a robot. And now for today's fun challenge. On the screen is some Minecraft pets. Now there's heaps more, so either copy some of mine, find your own, design your own. It's all about having fun today. Here's a chipmunk and a whale that I had a go at drawing earlier. For all of those classes using Splats, go to YouTube Splat3D Minecraft B. You might want to check out this tutorial. I have had a fabulous time drawing and learning along with you guys this week. Let's have an awesome week next week. Don't forget to practice. I'm Glenny D. Bye for now.